Hi guys, Catters, Moosey and Kitten. We are back, we are not dead. Uh, we have however taken six months off. Um, and uh, we're in beautiful Scotland today, so we thought we'd uh, film something. And uh, we've traveled to, where are we darling? The Isle of Whithorn. The Isle of Whithorn, which means that we can see the Isle of Man across the bay. Over there, I'll uh, Photoshop it in later, but uh, I'm assured that the Isle of Man is over there. And um, we're at the most south, southernish, southernish tip of uh, Scotland. That's Scotland, eh? And um, we're in the most beautiful. What are we? Dumfries and Galloway. Yeah. Dumfries and Galloway. And um, we've got a free park up at the Isle of Whithorn Harbour car park. You drive down the harbour, past the pub, all the way to the end, and then you turn in, and those camper vans over there is where we are. It's free parking and there is a waste point as well. And there's room for about 30 of us, I guess, yeah? Yeah, some bits are very hilly though. Quite, cool. quite wib Yeah, so are we, uh, are we, are we level at the mo level? At the mo Ish. Level enough. Yeah, yeah. okay. And uh, we're on the um, Pilgrim's Way on the way to uh, St Ninian's Cave. I don't know if we'll make it, but on the, but we have found a little can. Look where uh, where people put memorial stones for lost relatives, lost lost uh, pets, pets that have passed on, or um, they've written lots of messages on the stones, which is a uh, nice thing, isn't it? Nice thing. Yeah. So we've had uh, we've had a six month break, obviously, uh, because of. Should we go through the list? <laughs> ill, ill, surgery. Illness, illness, surgery, redundancy. Mm -hmm. um, winter time, yeah. Christmas, yeah. going away to see family. Yeah. Uh, life gets in the way sometimes, doesn't it? Mm. So we've had a long break and we're back now. And uh, we're still driving Reg, our uh, elderly motorhome, um, mobile better, mobile better motorhome. And, um, so if you want to see what we get up to, don't forget to subscribe, like and follow, hit the notification bell, that would be awesome. Your support is much appreciated. And uh, we're going to go for a walk, I think, now. And have a look at this lovely... Uh, Thing. Lovely coast. Um, we've got a little bay there, and there's a harbour. There'll be drone footage of the harbour shortly, no doubt. Hello. Oh, no. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> It's like going running towards us. It's a little bay there. <laughs> All brave till he gets to the scary lady. <laughs> oh. Always the same. <laughs> Sounds like me after five metres. So we're just going to take a wander up here, see what we can see. See out to sea. You've been walking uphill for five metres and you want to sit down. Oh, uh, yeah. I am unfit. So, more. <laughs> and there's a view all the way back. Miles, miles, miles back there. You can still see the motorhomes, roughly three days walk. <sighs> Into the distance. Right, let's go and find out what this white thing is. It's got a seat around it. Yeah, it does. Oh, this opens up. Wow, look at that view. Hey, all the way from there. The view all the way around and that in the distance it's not clouds it's the home of uh, the international tt bike racing isle of man and uh, i think we're just going to take a moment get our breath back 
and then we'll see where we pop up next. Isle of uh, Whithorn, guys, yeah. Oh, wow. It's really nice on this uh, peninsula down at the Isle of Whithorn. Um, and just when you thought, think you've walked enough, you'll uh, happen across lots of benches in little places. So this bit that we've come down to now is really, really sheltered. You might be able to hear the uh, gulls uh, in the background. Um, but you can you think you've walked really really far and off the beaten track and then uh, what do you find? There's all these uh, memorial benches littered all over the place uh, and this one is uh, in, in memory of uh, Mary Kidd who was a weaver uh, Harbour House 1918 to 1993 bless her daughter of the Joel whatever that means um, and uh, we're actually uh, wearing, our, wearing our knitted Icelandic sweaters, um, knitted by catters, by the way, here, very talented. So uh, we uh, might consider taking commissions if anybody's interested in one. <laughs> Isn't that right, darling? Yeah, but I need to go to Iceland to buy some more wool. But you would have to fund a trip to Iceland to buy some wool. Uh, so that'll add about 140 quid to the price. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, there's benches everywhere, loads of uh, seabirds around. Um, there is a route called the Pilgrim's Way, and that goes to a cave on the beach called St Ninian's Cave. And um, as well as being a saint, he was the guy that brought Christianity to Scotland. So uh, Christianity spread across Scotland from this point here, this area here. And, right uh, in this spot? Yeah, this very spot, darling. And uh, look, Christiani started here. Boom! Um, and uh, there's a priory and a chapel. Um, so we're going to go and have a look at the priory, maybe uh, in the morning. And um, up the road, there's some standing stones. And uh, we might have to join something called Historic Scotland. And then all these different sites are completely free of charge to go and explore. So uh, we'll, uh, we'll look into that tomorrow for you. Hi, hi are you right? Yeah. Good, thanks. Hi. Hi, hi. And uh, as with everywhere north of um, Salford, all, everybody's absolutely lovely. Um, you won't find any unfriendly people. Oh yeah, you're right. Um, everybody, even people without dogs, they say hello. Bent. And uh, and we've got another another bench here. Let's try it out. Oh no, this is um, oh oh, this is in memory of Bramble. You remember Bramble, the Springer Spaniel, 1990, 15 year old when he uh, passed, sadly That's passed. Good for a spaniel. It's pretty good for a spaniel because they are. Uh, just bonkers, aren't they? If you buy a spaniel, that's vet spills waiting to happen, that is. Pet insurance on legs. Pet insurance on legs, indeed. And, uh, and there's quite a few little coves around here. And this one's actually uh, obviously been used in the past for launching boats from. Because there's uh, remains of a, a boat slipway there. Just got an abandoned child's bike on it for now. <laughs> yeah, the child's there. <laughs> the child is there. Cool. The child's not abandoned either. No, no. No abandoned child's here. Children. I wonder what that is though. What? Is that a tumble down mine of some sort or? Chapel. Huh? Isn't it the chapel? Or is that the chapel? Mm, maybe. Right, it's, uh, a couple of the sites are closed at the moment due to falling rocks and things, so it's fenced off. And this bench here is in memory of a boat that went down. These guys all gave their lives at sea. During the sinking of the uh, Solway Harvester, which uh, put out from the Isle of Man on the 11th of January 2000. Oh, and everybody's so young. Wow, nearly all those guys that drowned 
would uh, not even be as old as me right now. And uh, sometime later, we have arrived at the site of St. Ninian's Chapel, um, the saint that brought Christianity to Scotland. And unfortunately, the monument is closed off to visitors at the moment. So this is as close as we can get to it. So there's an ancient chapel here on the cliffs overlooking the sea. And um, it was surrounded by a stone circular wall. And this is a remaining part of the wall here. But uh, unfortunately, as we're informed by the signage here, it's undergone a safety check and an annual maintenance check. And uh, there's the danger of falling masonry. And uh, it's been closed for quite some time now. And, uh, Guessing the uh, the funding is difficult to uh, to find for work of this sort, so we're just waiting for um, Historic Scotland to try and get this site reopened, made safe, which would be nice when they do. Oh. So I go through this little uh, gate here. Another little bay just down there. Ooh. Oh, uh, back at the uh, back at the harbour, and here is the slipway that is uh, still in use. So they launch uh, boats down there, and uh, we pan around. That's a little car park there, and then up here, you can see where the motorhome parking is, and. Uh, if you look just over there, you can see Young Reg, our uh, elderly motorhome, 22 years old, bless him. And that's where we're staying for the night, free of charge. Oh, and now we've made it to the um, reward part of the day. So uh, we've got a nice table, um, overlooking the harbour. And we're sampling a couple of pints of Scotland's finest um, Bellhaven Best Bitter from uh, this place here, the Steam Packet Inn, right on the harbour. We have to drive past here to get to the motorhome parking space. And uh, there's the uh, lovely Cousers, uh sporting her finest Icelandic knitwear. <laughs> Handmade for me, that one was actually. Uh, <clears throat> then what happened? You grew out of it. I grew out of it, yeah. So, uh, the wardrobe monkeys shrunk it. Yes, it was all entirely the fault of the wardrobe monkeys. Indeed. Indeed. So, um, anyway, cheers, darling. Cheers. Nice. Mmm. No, I think we'll uh, pick this up tomorrow when we get to um, Standing Stones. <laughs> or Priory, or something like that. We'll make a plan. Uh, so we and not to... stick to it. <laughs> and we'll make a As plan usual. and not stick to it. As um, usual. Which is why probably most of this video will make no sense whatsoever. Uh, it's, um, anyway, we'll, uh, we'll see where we get to. And there's the harbour and a couple of doggies. Cool. I'll we'll see you guys at the next place. Well, we left the pub on the harbour, lovely it was too. Um, steam packet ship in. And uh, we're back inside Reg, and uh, we've got a kitten on the table. Oh. Say hello, kitten. Ziggy Wiggles, Ziggy Wiggles. And we're going to have um, some wraps, are we? Yeah, sort of Cajun wrap thingy. Cajun wrap thingy, so. As I like, oh look at that, all oh, nice veggies chopped up there, bit of chicken there, and we've got onions and spices in a pan, and then we're going to make some nice uh, wraps, yeah? yeah. 
that would be awesome. And, uh, and the cats are having today, Karina won. If anybody's interested. Yep, look at that. Cats are being treated to uh, the best that Sainz Fisk could offer in Scotland. And, um, and there's a black cat up there, look. Hey, just a pair of eyes. There he is. Hi, Skoggy. Say hi. Say hey, YouTube. How you doing? Cool. And uh, we are parking up here. Ooh. Let's have a look, where are we? So there's the harbour. There's the view. And there's our little set up there with uh, Reg, the elderly motorhome. Next time you see him, we'll have painted him. He's uh, going to get a new paint job. And um, it's mad just standing in this field looking across there and what looks like, like clouds in the distance is actually the Isle of Man. Still can't quite get over it, that shadow over there is the Isle of Man. Yeah. Crazy. Anyway, see you guys tomorrow.